Oh, YouTube, it's Ender. <laughs> anyway, it's Ergo here. Um, <laughs> just wanted to talk to you guys today a little about Ender, though. It, a little known fact, I guess. Um, yeah, I went to college, and that's not a little known fact, but, you know, I got a degree in computer science, and that's what I use for my day job, but I actually also got a, a minor in psychology, and, you know, I don't really do anything with it, uh, but I guess it just helps a little to understand the world and puppies also. <laughs> I don't know, it, probably because of my background, but um, just recently I've been noticing, well, I, I told you guys a while ago when Ender first noticed the outside world in, in, uh, enough to bark when people were nearby, but more and more lately, he's um, a little over nine months old now, and just more and more recently he's uh, sort of recognizing his environment. It's actually kind of strange. Um, over here, you see I have windows there, I sit by the computer, and. Every morning now, he just comes over and he sits and w actually looks out the window. He's really cognizant of the environment there. There's really nothing much going on, but just that he can recognize that there's an outside world rather than just things that are in the house. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, also, I used to take him for walks and, you know, in the park, if there was a squirrel or something, he might look at it or something, but um, <laughs> I was really the one reacting more than he was. And, Ender, seriously, I'm trying to make a video. It's about you, but um, I need to make the video. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, yesterday I was taking him for a walk in the park, and <laughs> he seriously is not letting me make this video. Um, and he, uh, he really he was going after these squirrels now. Just another sign of seeing the outside world. And um, I don't know. I, I Stop it. Stop it. Sit. Sit. Ender, sit. Sit. Down. Roll over. Nope. Nope. Down. Down. Roll over. Roll over. No, well, you tried. It's the trying that counts, right? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna push him out here for a second. <laughs> so I can finish the video. So, I don't know. I, I don't know if there's people that actually study these things and there's like pet psychology. There probably is. Maybe uh, Katrina Catanatrici, you know something about this since you're on a PhD in psychology. Do people study pets and are there, I, mean, I could probably search like Amazon and stuff, but I don't know. I, I just find it fascinating. I don't have any children to watch them develop uh, cognitively or anything like that. So it's pet development for me here. What do you guys think? Uh, did you notice the same thing? If you have pets uh, as they grew from puppies into dogs or cats, kittens, cats, whatever the pet that you choose to have. I don't know, I, I just think it's cool. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Kind of a little random video here today, but that's what you get for watching Ergo6667. Keep subscribing, leave lots of comments. I'll see you guys all again tomorrow for another video. Take care.